I want to talk about a legal example by talking about a sociologist at Princeton named Eldar Sharif, who teamed up with Amos Tversky and some folks and wrote an article called Reason-Based Choice in the journal Cognition. Essentially what he posed was a custody dispute. He asked people to pretend they're jurors in this dispute between parent A, who has average income, average health, average working hours, reasonable rapport with the child, and relatively stable social life. That's one parent. You could give the child to that parent. Or you could give the child to parent B, who has above average income, minor health problems, lots of work-related travel, very close relationship with the child, and an extremely active social life. So what I want you to do right now is pretend you're on the jury. Decide between these to parent. Take a minute or so, think to yourself, and write it down. You're on the jury. This is the only information that you're given. Which parent gets the child? So when they did this, they found something interesting. When they framed the choice as who's awarded the child, if I said to you, Mr. Rieger, who would you award the child? More people said, you know what, let's give it to parent B. But when they said, which parent would you deny custody? When they framed it that way, they gave it to parent A. They rejected, they denied parent B. The reason, at least in the article, was that when you frame it as an award, you start looking for reasons that stand out about a parent as being particularly well-suited. You're looking for really good stuff. Above average income in the world of child welfare, really good stuff. Very close relationship with the child in the world of child welfare, very good stuff. You're not looking for the bad. You're looking for what's that reason to choose this. When they frame it as deny, the calculation, the focus switches. Now you're looking for reasons to ding people, to disqualify. So now you focus on these other things. Minor health problems, that's a red flag. Lots of work-related travel, bigger red flag. Extremely active social life, are they gonna be around to handle the responsibilities of being a parent? Just by framing the choice, were led to focus on different things. And that's why we keep on coming back to this idea of people don't choose between things, they choose between descriptions of things. As I said, it came from Daniel Kahneman. It's actually collected in a really neat book about Daniel Kahneman and Amos Tversky called The Undoing Project by Michael Lewis.